Okay, so this is a uh, what's that word? Bonus, bonus episode. Bonus part. We decided to just record the five lifetime regrets one anyway, in case yeah. it death, will death be. Death bed regrets. Oh yes, death bed regrets. So so these regrets are collated by an Australian palliative caretaker called Bronny B R O N N I E where w a r e mm. um and she also wrote the book the top five regrets of the dying so basically mm. these regrets are from that book so spoiler alert i guess because if you want to read that book these are the five <laughs> regrets. <laughs> is there a uh, i wish i spent more time with my family and friends oh okay do you want to do some predictions yes so? i feel yes. like that one i wish i didn't work so hard okay Okay, Dr. Annie. I think maybe I wish I took care of my health more. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, I wish I lived my life more or something. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you mean I lived my life As in more? like, took more risks, you know? Mm-hmm. Went on more adventures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I feel like you all hit quite a few of them. Okay, what's so the, the first, first one? one is, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the lives other expect. Mm. not the life others expected of me. Yeah. So I feel like that's a bit of the... Yeah. Like, yeah, if I take a more adventure. But that's... So, in, is that the, the, the most? Um, That's the first one. Oh, I it's don't not in order. The oh, they okay. never like yeah. rank the five. Okay. I don't think they rank. I guess it's top five. Yeah. <laughs> in no particular order. Yeah. But for this one, it is more about listening to social and cultural norms at the expense of your own passions. Mm, so yeah. Like, yeah, instead of maybe pursuing a career in music or a career in Yeah, arts, my parents like, wanted me to do science and math. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I love science. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like stuff like that. Or like maybe there was something that you were passionate about but you didn't pursue because that was just the most like impractical choice. At yeah, that it's too late. Yeah. So it's easy to feel bitter about it because these are like, oh, it kind of feels like it's out of your control. But yeah. you know, you still have many points in your life where you can make a choice where it's like you didn't have to be a doctor. Mm. Or like, but it could be like, I didn't have do. money. I, I needed oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sustain myself already. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, it really depends on how much you can justify it. But if you can't, and a lot of people tend to justify it to circumstance, like social and cultural norms. Yeah. And so so um, you regret less. <laughs> so that they can regret less. But yeah. I personally, don't feel like that's a fair justification. Justification. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Next. So the next one is I wish I hadn't worked so yes. hard. Yes. Oh my so god. Always <laughs> in the uh, movies. Which is like the money is not important thing. Yeah. The thing about that, right, is like, would you be able to afford all this medical and healthcare if you didn't have money? Mm, yeah, but it's also a bit more about being like YOLO, but not in a dumb way. Like, yeah, okay, you, know, like, you only live once, but not in a dumb yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't, like, jump off buildings, of course. <sighs> yeah. But, like, that also means maybe if you really wanted to, like, travel somewhere, I mean... Yeah, give yourself a, a reward. Yeah. Like, I think you should be comfortable with what you have, but you don't need excessive amounts. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, the third one is, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Oh. So this one is not just about a significant other or like someone that you maybe like or had a crush on. It's also about um, your right? friends. Oh. No, no. It's also about like <laughs> we went in very different directions. <laughs> like standing up for yourself. Yeah, like standing up for like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's a part of it. So this one is more about forming genuine bonds with people you care about. So mm. like speaking your mind. Yeah. making your thoughts and feelings known. Mm. And I feel like a lot of people kind of is afraid of doing that because they are afraid of like messing relationships up yeah. with people. But I think the point is if someone can't accept you for your true feelings and how you think or like how you're acting, mm. then maybe they shouldn't be in your life. I don't know. Uh, that's my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, like if your friends are like, please don't go around K-wording people. Um. Yeah. Maybe take that advice. So, <laughs> I don't, it, it really depends. Please use your own discretion. Yes. I I hope that you are intelligent <laughs> and mature enough to do so. Okay. Uh, fourth one, which I don't really have much to say about because it's like kind of similar to global regrets. Is I wish I'd stay in touch with my friends. So that's the connection regret that you kind of. Mm. Um, mm. And then the last one is I wish I had let myself be happier. Isn't that similar to like staying true to yourself? It's yeah yeah. It's actually more or less that basically the expectations and opinions of others should not prevent you from being happy with who you are mm. and then they are like moreover happiness can be found in the journey and not just at the destination which you often never reach well that went that that, <laughs> that, was that went dark, dark. 
mean, yeah, I got his deathbed regret. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's just occasionally you should like reflect on whether you are happy at this point of time. Like, mm. at different, rather than like at the end of your life and then you be like, am I happy? Was I happy? It's more like mm-hmm. once in a while you just think whether you're happy and if you're not, then like what can you do, do to make something yourself about happy? it? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, right. Because I mean, I also have this agreement with myself where I'm on my deathbed and I'm like, was I happy? Think back on my life. And if I wasn't, then it's just like regret and then die. That's mm. it. <laughs> Maybe as a justify for yeah, yeah. Justify. Hopefully what? you live long enough <laughs> to do so. <laughs> it's like, oh, mm, regret. Then like, oh, oh. Too late. <laughs> I guess then it doesn't matter. It's a close door. Yeah, <laughs> do better next time, but you're dead already. Yeah. So I like, still have to do better. So yeah, I don't know. What do you all feel? This was better or worse or same thing? No, no, I like the global one. You like the global one? Yeah, I like one? the global one more. Okay, I, I like this one more because I like the idea of like, oh, I'm on my deathbed. Then I think about what uh, my regrets are, but there's nothing I can do. Oh, sorry. That's so dark. Because that's the dark. Yeah, yeah. I think you just like that. Yeah, yeah. Darkness. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> cool. See you next Monday. Bye.